What up, gamers? Yesterday, we decided what the best 1.20 wood is. Today, we're going to do the same thing, but for the mobs in 1.20. Which 1.20 mob is better, the camo or the sniffer? Smash like, subscribe, and let's begin with the tall king, the camo. Beginning with our good friend, the camo, at first glance, looking beautiful as always. The camel, I think the mob in terms of looks, yeah, looks sweet. And it can only be found at a desert village, which encourages exploration, you know. That's kind of a big part of 1.20, exploration. And of course, we can ride the bad boy. And when we do ride it, we can go quite slowly or we can go fast. We can also trigger the dash or the leap. I really do like the camel and furthermore the thing can fit two players so you and your friend can ride the camel I really like the camel I think you can tell finally we're in survival oh no there's husks everywhere they really want us they can't get us I'm on top of the camel they are weak they will attack the camel, sure, but we can just get away. We can just get away, That that's it. And they, they can't get us. And if we really want to go fast... Oh yeah, look at that. They are long gone now. They ain't no way they're catching up to us. The camel, oh, it's beautiful. And that's why it's called the Tolkien. Moving on. Up against the camel today, we've got the prehistoric dinosaur mob, otherwise known as the Minecraft Sniffer. Also added in Trails and Tales, and it too has its own unique abilities. The Sniffer, well the whole point of it is we go out into the ocean to find its egg buried in the suspicious sand promoting archaeology and exploration. Once we get that egg, we bring it back home and we place it down. We let it hatch. Nothing can get in the way of that. If we really want to speed it up, we can place it on moss. It hatches and we get a baby sniffler. I'll show you that later. That grows up and becomes the sniffer. And then the sniffer will start digging to find us seeds for extinct plants. These are the seeds here. This is the pitcher pod, which will eventually grow into the pitcher plant. And this is the torch flower seed, which will eventually grow into the torch flower. So the whole point of the sniffer is you go out to find its egg, you place its egg down, you bring the sniffer back to life to get some of these extinct plants. And yeah, that's the whole point of it. And if we want to see an egg hatch, no problem. We can bump up the random tick speed. This should now hatch. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's hatching. It is hatching. Here we go. And we're about to get a sniffler. There we go. Eggs hatched. Eggs gone. But we've got a sniffler. And with the random tick speed up soon enough, the sniffler baby sniffer will grow into the adult sniffer. Oh, look, this egg's hatched as well. Sniffers all around. Now, it's got to be said, I love the sniffer. And another fact about it, it won last year's mob vote up against the rascal and tough golem. So clearly the community loves this mob as well. And I don't blame them for it. It's a lovely mob. But is it better than the camel? Well, let's decide. Now, I've thought long and hard about which 1.20 mob is better. And I have come to my decision. But it has to be said... Both of these mobs are amazing and unique in their own way. And that's what I really love about these mobs. They're completely different and they're both incredible. However, after taking a look at all of their abilities, the sniffer, obviously its whole purpose is to dig up extinct plants. And the camo, on the other hand, well, it's a rideable mob. And it protects us from mobs. And it's a tall king. So it was a close one. 
But I've decided to give the win to the camel. See ya.